welcome here welcome to Tasha's channel so Tasha is sleeping and I thought I will just tell you a little bit of Tasha's story so yeah I thought I'll quickly tell you a little bit of Tasha's story because I don't want this to ever happen to anybody ever again in life <laughs> So basically, Dash, if you've been following him for quite some time, you would know that um, he was really sick a couple of months ago and he almost died. And the reason being was that he got poisoned. Now, we had no idea that cats can get poisoned by eating leaves. <laughs> if I ever had known that i would have not had plants in my house before we got him but i had no idea he used to nibble in in my garden like uh, i had flowering plants and aloe vera and uh, uh, the snake plants and all that stuff and he used to go and bite the leaves and everything like that and i used to think that it's normal i mean like he used to bite and drop them so i thought it was like him being naughty <laughs> and basically i was not um, much concerned about it but yeah so what happened a couple of months ago was uh, he ate one uh, aloe vera leaf and at that moment i didn't know he ate it uh, one morning when i went out uh, he was normal as can be the previous night he was normal and uh, that particular morning when i went out he was sitting in the garden and uh, not garden exactly the balcony basically so he was sitting um, on my balcony with the plants and uh, all of a sudden he jumped down and he started vomiting his entire food whatever he ate the previous night had come out so i thought maybe he's having a flu or stomach upset or something like that so i didn't uh, you know think much about it so finally we took him to the vet we uh, took him to the vet and the vet um, checked him up and immediately told us that he was poisoned and that was a extremely shocking thing to hear because he's like 24 hours at home he doesn't go out he's always at home and it was like uh you know something that i was not expecting to hear at all so um, then we asked the doctor how how can this be possible so then he was asking if he uh, you know he bit anything like a uh, harpic or if uh, you know he he was uh, he drank anything or ate any medicines or anything like that so i was like no i don't think so because we keep everything out of sight at least not uh, you know places where he can access it and uh, I was like completely confused and then uh, finally the uh, vet said that uh, do you do you have plants at home and then I was like yes I have plants and then he's like what kind of plants do you have and uh, we took a couple of videos of the plants and then when we went back we showed the vet all the videos and all that and then they told us that a um, uh, couple of uh, plants so there can be a reason why he could have got poisoned and then i came back home and i was checking all the plants and then i seen one of the aloe vera leaves was missing so and it looked like it was bitten up so i i immediately like googled uh, if aloe vera leaves are you know poisonous for cats and all that stuff and then it was written that it is poisonous for cats so um, then I told the vet about it and then um, uh, the vet said that that is a high possibility that he would have eaten one of the aloe vera leaves and got poisoned. And we brought him home. We brought him home after that, after all his injections and all his, uh, he had to take a lot of drips and all that stuff. That entire day they were giving him all sorts of things and then that evening we brought him home. Uh, but we had to take him to the vet twice a day so twice a day we were taking him to the vet to get injections and poor fellow he had uh, med i mean like those injection um those uh, intravenous injection things on his paws and uh, he had to i mean we had to take him every single day morning and night and they were giving him medicines and he was so weak he lost a lot of weight then um, all sorts of things were happening poor fellow he literally 
it was so sad to see him like that and then he started puking he started puking blood he started pooping blood and uh, he, he was a real i mean his entire coat was a mess because of all the medicines that he was taking that and tablets we had to feed him those tablets which was a little difficult because of course he didn't like that but uh, his entire coat was messed up and then because of all the vomiting and after the vomiting the bleeding his entire um uh, intestines all his uh, organs i mean his intestines got damaged so he was bleeding uh, and whenever he was pooping he was bleeding basically and he was vomiting blood and all that so he was very very critical and the vets were like and they were they couldn't say that if if he was going to survive or not and then finally after about um, a month and a half he uh, stopped bleeding and um, then after that we took him but he was still having loose motion he was he stopped vomiting but he was still having loose motion for almost a month and a half so then after that we went to the doc i mean vet and they were like this should not be the case he should not uh, be still having loose motion after a month and a half so they told us um, to do a scan so we did a scan and then uh, they discovered that he he has a kind of defect on his kidney and um, that might have uh, i mean the poisoning might have triggered it off i i'm not sure exactly what is uh, the issue but basically they said that he has a birth defect on his kidney i mean in his kidneys and that is what is causing him and plus his entire system got fully messed up with all this poisoning and you know diarrhea and vomiting and all that for that month and a half and um, yeah the skinny issue is the thing that is uh, you know um, basically making him still have diarrhea so then we went to the, we tried to get him uh, uh i mean we had to give him medicines and all that he was like on medication for almost 2 months and um, then we needed to find out what can be done so the vet basically said that uh, usually older cats have these problems like with the kidneys but because he ha- he was poisoned and he has this birth related defect on his kidneys that showed uh just because we did that scan and because he was poisoned it might have triggered it off i'm not sure how uh i mean like how it is connected but that's what they said that the, there's a birth related uh, issue and basically it shows as they grow so that's the thing they're like he, he like he was poisoned as well as he has this condition but it's a lifelong thing and he, uh, you know they can't say how long he'll live then they started giving because uh, after about a month and a half he was still having diarrhea so we were wondering what to do because we he was taking medication he was taking all the uh, i mean tablets and syrups to prevent uh, diarrhea but he was still having diarrhea so then they told us to feed him this renal food that's basically very uh, bland and very uh, soothing for the stomach so we started giving him that for almost a week or uh, two weeks time he was uh, taking that renal food and his motion became a little better like it was starting to come back to normalcy and then after that uh, i was wondering what to feed him because this renal food is like small little containers that is sufficient for a cat to eat like twice a day and it's really expensive so it was not like feasible for you, anyone in fact it, it won't be feasible for anyone to uh, be buying that on a daily basis so i did some research to find out what kind of food is good for cats with uh, kidney issues and with uh, cats that have uh, you know basically digestion problems and all that stuff and um, i found a recipe in which it's good for their stomachs it's mild and uh, something that can be easily digested and all that stuff so i started making home food ever since uh, i started using um, recipes that are like that and i basically made a recipe that is working the best for us right now and uh, 
ever since like ever since i started making food at home and um yeah i'm making that kind of uh, mild food for him stomach is fine he stopped having loose motions and that was like after almost two months of having loose motions his motion came back to normalcy and then um the, from then till now he is fine by the grace of god um he it was really really heartbreaking to see him like that and uh, i'm so glad that he is all right now and uh, he recovered completely now um but the only thing is if i uh, you know if i don't give him home food uh, for one day if i happen to like uh, skip a day or if i try to give him and uh, introduce another food to him he starts vomiting he immediately starts vomiting and he immediately has diarrhea so i stick to giving him only home food because in between i thought maybe his stomach is come back to normalcy and maybe he'll be able to digest like normal cat food i'm talking about the wet food and you know the dry food so i i tried to introduce a little bit of wet food for him and he started vomiting so uh, then i decided not to you know make uh, i mean buy wet food or any kind of cat foods for him and uh, yeah ever since i've been cooking uh, home food for him and um, his stomach is perfectly fine now his motion is perfectly fine and he's grown he's put on all the weight that he lost and uh, yeah he's been as uh, jumpy naughty and lively as can be and i'm so grateful and sa- thankful that he is all right so if you have a cat be careful <laughs> if you have cats and plants at home be careful i don't want this to you know if if you didn't know about plants being poisonous for cats i hope this helps you and you know um i am guides you basically aloe vera and uh, snake plants are dangerous very dangerous for cats and uh, yeah basically google the certain plants that are say for cats but most of them are not so google and find out what plants are say for cats um if you want plants i i got rid of all my plants right now i don't have anything in my house um other than you know i'm going to grow some cat uh, cat grass because that's supposed to be good for his stomach and also is fine uh, fine for him to have so i bought some cat grass which i'll be growing and uh, other than that i don't have any plants in the house um yeah so be careful with plants and if you have a cat uh, which which has um, kidney disorder kidney related issues or intestinal issues or stomach issues and you're searching for a recipe that will help uh, you know your cat uh, digest food easily uh, i'll be making a video on what i cook for him uh daily and um uh, i'll be posting that so hopefully that will help you and your furry friend so yeah that was dash's story and uh, yeah so glad that he's all right so that's about it i that's what i wanted to talk to you all discuss about and uh, yeah i hope this helps someone okay I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.